Hey guys, Reg here from Athletic One, and here are three tips to help you achieve your first chin up faster. Tip number one is have real good form. So when it comes to chin ups, uh, there's a few things we want to do consistently to help us with our form and to make sure we're activating the right muscles. Number one is at the very bottom of the chin up, when we first start, we want to make sure that our elbows are fully locked out. So having tension in our, in our arm with a bent arm kind of defeats the purpose of working on that full range of motion and getting stronger all the way up and all the way down. So make sure you start with straight elbows. And when you're in that straight elbow position, have some tension in your lats. So sometimes people will hang, the ball comes out of the socket and they don't have any tension in their lat muscles. So make sure that you have some tension, but the elbows are straight. Now when we first start, <clears throat> elbows straight, we're going to pull up and we're going to try to make sure it's very strict. So we're big fans of doing strict chin-ups because uh, it's more challenging, there's no momentum to it, so avoid any swinging as you're going up and down. So as you pull yourself up and you get to the very top, make sure that whatever uh, level of assistance you're using with a band or a machine, make sure that assistance is the right amount so that you can consistently get your chin over the bar. Okay. So chin over the bar and once we get to that position, one common mistake is to get into this rounded shoulder position. So this rounded shoulder position really is only using mainly my arms to pull myself up and we want to make sure that we're using our lat muscles. So our lat muscles are, are very important uh, primary movers for getting more pulling strength. So at the very top, instead of being in this rounded position, think chest open and pull your elbows into your back pockets. So when I actively pull my elbows down and back into my back pocket area, uh, you're gonna feel more in your lat muscles and you're gonna get stronger with that pulling. So after you get right over that midpoint where your chin's over the bar, another common mistake is uh, a lot of people, they'll drop down quickly. <clears throat> so we gotta uh, take advantage of coming down slowly because that builds up a lot of eccentric strength. So make sure you lower yourself good control, don't rush it, fight with it, go slow enough so you control your, your body. And at the very bottom, again, make sure you lock your elbows out, have tension, and then start your rep again. So those are some fundamentals for having a, a good chin up with uh, good mechanics. Uh, the second tip is that a lot of times people will get uh, stuck in plateaus and we wanna bust through those plateaus. So uh, a few ways we can creatively do that is number one is by using negatives. So a negative would be uh, used really effectively on your last rep of your last set. So say you're doing three sets of five, three sets of five reps. So on your last set, last rep, pull yourself up right to that chin up bar and challenge yourself to hold yourself up in that position as long as you can. So you're working on some isometric strength. And once you can no longer hold yourself up at that height, slowly lower, again trying to fight with it to see how slowly you can lower and by doing that, that might add another you know, three, four, five, maybe even six or seven seconds to that last rep and it's a great way to build that eccentric strength which is really important for helping you achieve your first chin up. So negatives on your very last rep, your very, very last set uh, is one good way to bust through plateaus. <clears throat> a second way is by using cluster sets. So a cluster set would be, uh, an example would be if you're doing three sets of five reps and you're stuck at three sets of five at using whatever tension band you have, uh, get in the habit of doing five plus one. So for example, on your first set, do your five reps, good form, and then after your fifth rep, take a 10 to 15 second rest and then do one more rep. Start your second set when you're ready, five reps, 10 to 15 second break, and then one more rep. So again, on your third set, it's a five plus one. So doing that plus one is a great way to add more volume. So you just went from doing 15 reps total, now you did 18, and over the course of a couple weeks, you're gonna find your strength's gonna increase a lot quicker. So cluster sets, negatives, a great way to bust through plateaus. Uh, the third way, third tip that we find that works really well for achieving your first chin-up is simply just do more chin-ups. So if you have chin-ups programmed into your, uh, your week, say once per week, uh, get in the habit of doing a couple chin-ups on your other workout days. So if we're training, say, three or four days a week, instead of just you know one you know, workout designated for pulling strength, 
Um, you know, take a second or third workout, you know, maybe right after your warm up or right after your, your strength is done as a finisher. Do one or two chin ups. It doesn't have to be very much, but when you add some more reps throughout the course of the week, uh, you're going to find over the course of the month, you might have just added another 15 to 20 reps maybe of uh, chin up strength, and that's really going to fast track your progress. And for most people, that extra couple reps doesn't feel very challenging. You know, elbows and shoulders still stay fresh because they're not doing, you know, a whole lot of volume with it. But the, the consistency of adding a few more reps two or three times a week really helps out. It doesn't take much time and it really helps to build that strength. So there's three tips for you to help you achieve your first chin-up faster. Make sure you have good form uh, to bust through any plateaus. Try using negatives and cluster sets. And third tip is uh, get in the habit of doing more reps. So give that a go and uh, all the best with your first chin up.